Tick, tock, extra sound. Something not right. Three very different timing machines. iPad version, Time Grapher app from the Apple App Store. Time Grapher, I featured this one on the channel before. It's the watch escapement analyzer by a fellow called Graham Baxter. It only runs well with the, oh, it's been optimized for the, for the iPhone headphones, which has got an inbuilt microphone here. And the idea is that you put the the microphone on the watch or around the watch. Absolutely sod all happens. Piece of crap. The alternative is to use a microphone such as this with a, one of these one eighth jacks. Because the software is optimized for the headphone jack, the signal is now too hot. Even at the lowest sensitivity, I managed to get a reading on this. It wasn't easy, to be fair, um, but I did manage to get a reading on this when it amplified through through this. This here's it. Put it around there. Press start, and it's detected the correct beat, which is. 28800 and it's showing a reading now a trace okay the rate is coming up here minus 24 seconds a day which on the time grapher shows up around about the same the advantage of this one is that it's got a waveform and you can actually see what's going on As you can see, we've got a tick and we've got a tock. But look at the reading I got earlier. And that is something that neither of these two time graphers, uh, the iPad app and the dedicated machine, would not pick up. Uh, it doesn't show. In fact, it showed a fairly decent reading because the sounds generated from these machines are electronic. You cannot hear what's going on for real. Software like this gives you a waveform. You can hear as well the original sound from the watch that's amplified. Dodgy noises that the watch is making that indicates that there's problems in the watch will be indicated on the waveform. Allows you to debug and see what's wrong with the watch. This Seiko watch, brought to me by one of my forum members who just happened to be in town, uh, popped in and uh, said he'd been trying to regulate it on the timing machine, unfortunately wasn't getting very far. It was gaining or losing and uh, the amplitude was way low. Gonna dig into this now, see what the problem really was.
Initially, this watch was keeping reasonably good time, but it was erratic. It was going fast or slow. The amplitude was low. Uh, the timing machines, the time grapher, and indeed even this machine would not pick up what the problem was. Of course, you could hold it to your ear and you can listen. You'll be able to hear those uh, no extra noises that the watch was making. But using a timing machine with a waveform allows you to quickly see and debug the problem. And it showed up really clear that there was some extra sound. The sound was a rubbing sound. It was consistent, uh, most likely the escapement. And indeed it was, as you can see, the screws for the pallet cock were slightly loose. And of course, just tightening them up a fraction more resolved the issue. And don't forget the watch repair course. This is a passion of mine, something I've been developing uh, for quite some time now. Level one is out, level two is out, level three is coming out very, very soon. You can enroll today. There's a link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Now, if you like my videos, click subscribe. There's a button below this video and you can see right next to the button, there's a bell that you can press. Now, if you press that bell, you'll be informed every time I publish new content. And please consider becoming a patron uh, to support my work, just as these awesome people have done.